What's up, everyone? Today we're making Ma Yong Tong Yun Sweet Sesame Tong Yun. If you've never had these before, you are missing out. This is one of the most heartwarming desserts. A perfect bite of the chewiest sticky rice ball on the outside and the crunchiest filling mixed with sesame, peanut butter, and other surprising ingredients on the inside. My dad's recipe is simple, as long as you can overcome some common problems, starting with the biggest one of all, how to create dough that doesn't crack or break apart when we cook the balls later. <laughs> 做這個呢,我們是用10安市的糯米粉,我們首先拆過的糯米粉先啊. Using glutinous rice flour is very important here because it gives the balls the signature chewy texture. 我們首先呢就用5安市的滾水,我們將啲粉一齊咁攪勻佢,一邊落一邊一邊攪慢慢啊. My dad is using boiling water here first because it'll make it easier to knead the dough later. A lot of people had questions about flour. Because the tong yun it is so and chewy. If you use different flour, you might don't don't get it. Traditional tong yun, people always use gluten flour. 另外這部分被凍水,用三至四個安全凍水開啲邊,慢慢啊。有時的粉呢,有的乾的受水的,有的呢就沒有那麼受水的。如果覺得它是不夠水呢,可以加一點落去。how do you prevent this from being too chewy? Tong yun is long my fun gun and king and go on. You should be the young team my fun. But yet, I won't. I won't see my fun. I won't know my fun. But yet, I won't just stop. I never try, but if I'm for me, if I want to not stop chewy, I will put 80% of the gluten flour, 20% of the regular flour. Oh, okay. That will be reduced the chewy. Yeah, can't do it. You don't go. My fun, you got holding up. You got it. 就用保鮮紙攬著它,等它的粉,我來吸收這些水分,放大個半個鐘頭這樣啦,多長一個鐘頭啊,都亦都冇所謂咯。While the dough is resting, let's talk about why this dish is so important within Chinese culture. Sweet glutinous rice balls, or tim tong yun in Cantonese, are traditionally eaten during family gatherings, including winter solstice festival, which is when Toy Sanese people eat the signature savory versions of the rice balls. But it's also enjoyed during the Lunar New Year, specifically the 15th day of the Chinese New Year, which is also called the Lantern Festival, or Yun Siu Di in Cantonese. The perfect roundness of Tong Yun symbolizes family union and togetherness, which is fitting for the final day of the traditional New Year celebrations. Nowadays, sweet Tong Yun are a wildly popular dessert all over the world and savored year-round for its chewy outside and, of course, its succulent fillings, which we'll start to create right now with some ingredients you might be surprised to see. We're using one tablespoon of unsalted butter here. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. Okay,咁又好大碗一大碗噶啦。我的味呢,就比四個湯匙的砂糖。如果你唔覺得煮好,佢唔夠甜,我去隨時加糖落去㗎。呢個沖咖啡嗰啲奶粉嚟㗎啫,啱啱你就煮滾佢就得㗎
咁樣指開咧，佢就會融咗噶啦。Now that we have all three of our elements ready, my dad's going to show us his simple technique to roll balls that won't leak or crack when cooked. Starting with the filling we put in the freezer. 餡就夠硬淨啦，先蒸嗰啲餡，嗱，先將佢切開佢，唔係十分硬定唔係硬得曬。We'll cut the block up first lengthwise into a couple rows, then cut across the rows to make roughly half-inch squares of filling. 好啦，就係咁樣噶啦，不過咯，係嘛？拖拖佢，咁咪完咯，係嘛？如果擺喺櫥櫃太耐，太耐啊！如果你攞搓唔到，你咪解一解凍，咪可以搓得搓得噶咯，係嘛？好容易啫。We'll repeat the rolling until all of the filling pieces are formed into balls. Then we'll move on to the dough that's been sitting and waiting for us. 而家咧，就好似整湯圓咯喎。呢度咧係可以整到十八個湯圓上下啦。We'll separate the dough into two for easier handling. Then we'll roll it out into a smaller tube. 啊，搓完佢啊，然之後切開佢。咁上下一個咯。We'll cut the dough into about one to two inch pieces. Then roll those into rough balls. 啊，搓完佢之後咧，整佢落去，嗱，整佢深啲佢，整佢軟仔，整佢軟仔咁上下，整下，整個餡落去，咁得啦，攣埋佢，哇，呢個波啊 ！Now we'll repeat this process until all the fillings have been placed into dough balls and rolled up. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. Now, let's see how easy this really is. You want to do one? Okay. Now, you want to do one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, it really is that simple. Now we'll get to cooking them, which is also pretty simple as long as you keep these few things in mind. Well, tang yuan is cooked. Now we're going to start to cook the tang yuan. Let's open the fire. When the tang yuan is cooked, you need to put water in it. Okay. Now the water is in the pot. Now we're going to put the tang yuan in the pot. We'll carefully put the balls into the boiling water one by one. You can also use a spoon to gently put them in. With the heat on medium, we'll cover the pot to bring the water back to a boil or about 30 to 40 seconds. My dad uses the lid to make them cook faster, but be careful not to let it boil over. You can lower the heat and stir more frequently if necessary. When they start to float, or after about five minutes of cooking, the tong yun are done. My dad adds a bit of cold water here to quickly lower the water's temperature and prevent the boiling water from breaking apart the already cooked balls. Now, an important step. We'll place them in a bowl of cold water. This seems simple, but my mom's gonna explain why it's so critical. But first, a big part of why I started this channel was to improve my Chinese. My fluency, or lack thereof, has always been one of my biggest insecurities. But now that I'm a dad, I feel more of a sense of urgency and responsibility in passing down the language. If you're an ABC like me, maybe you can relate to this, but as a Cantonese-only speaker, there's an additional divide that I feel not knowing Mandarin. And there really aren't a ton of accessible, quality resources out there. To improve. Luckily, I connected with the guys at Canton Mando, who certainly don't need any introductions, but they've been making extremely engaging, entertaining videos on YouTube for years. They recently came out with a language course called the Canto to Mando Blueprint, designed specifically for Cantonese speakers like me to get us speaking conversationally fluent Mandarin super fast, regardless of whatever level of Cantonese we're at. A big part of learning is creating bridges between what you do know and what you don't know. And the Canto to Mando Blueprint is genius in that it leverages our Cantonese background to learn Mandarin. And I can attest that having gone through their basics lessons, using my Cantonese as a bridge to learn is significantly easier than trying to learn Mandarin with English. 
So it works like this. Subject, time, verb, object. For example, subject, 我, hai wa sing ke, time, you chat ho my, verb, object, ping guo. You see, it's the exact same in Mandarin and Cantonese. For me, learning Mandarin has always been intimidating, but going through this course gives me the confidence that I can master it and that I actually already know more than I thought I did. So for example, 我讀完大學了 Take a moment, type that out. 我讀完大學了 And I think most importantly, this course is very tactical and action-oriented, and it's a course that you'll actually want to finish. I've bought a lot of online courses, and honestly, they can be pretty hit or miss. But if you've seen any of Canto Mando's YouTube videos, you'll know that they are masters of creating fun, engaging content that you'll want to watch to the end. And they bring that same energy throughout a very unique approach to language learning, which traditionally can be pretty boring. I'm just genuinely excited that this course exists, and even even more excited to share it with you guys. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, I have a link in our description where you can learn all about it. Next, we'll get back to why it's so critical to first dunk the balls into cold water. The most important step for sticking together is mm -hmm. the golang ho. When something very really soft, you put in the cold water and then automatically, like a shrinking, yeah, become uh, harder. They don't stick together. Uh, also, golang ho preventing the mugi. The, oh, the tongue in is yeah. already wash the outside, wash the, the surface. Yeah. What's the best way to freeze them and oh. also to prevent them from cracking if you freeze them? First, you need to freeze them. If you don't freeze them, you can freeze them. 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 嗰時你點樣解凍啊？解解凍就都得，你唔解凍咪擺落去，就煲都冇問題。冇係咪冇？煲落啲，冇咁好食啊！都應該就冇乜分別嘅。最好就解一解凍先至俾落。If you don't defrost completely, then you see almost spoil. Then you put in, but don't don't put the tongue in between. Bap 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 bap. Put the tongue in between. Yeah. 好啦。而家咧，你倒咗呢啲水佢，煮糖水咯。頭先搞起嗰呢啲糖水啦，係嘛？攞奶油剩噶啦，攞糖嗰度整咗曬啦，開大火。我哋而家咧，仲加少少姜絲落去，翻嗰啲糖水香啲，嚇，就係咁，啲姜絲落去。My dad didn't show this, but we'll need to chop up about one to two ounces of ginger into small strips to add to our soup. This is optional, of course, but highly recommended to make the soup more aromatic. Audrey from Patreon said, My family always made the broth with just ginger. I'm wondering what other variations there are. Some uh, 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 Common. Okay. Once the soup boils, we'll turn off the heat to give it a taste. This is when you could add more sugar, water, or milk to your liking. We'll turn the heat back on to warm up the tong yun for just 30 seconds. Then we're ready to take it back out. We'll pour the hot soup over our amazing new creations and serve them to our eagerly awaiting family before they turn cold. But first, let's learn a Chinese saying about family from my mom. I hope that our audience bring this on the table, indicating family, tin tin yun yun. Always union together, that all the new year we have happiness. Tin tin yun yun is all together. This is all together. This is all together. This is all together. This is all together. Happy Lantern Festival! Happy, Happy Lantern Festival! Lantern Festival. <laughs> mm. Mm. You like it better than the savory one? Oh, this is good! <laughs> YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. <laughs> 